Hi, Johnny Bergen here with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. This time we're talking about Eddie Taylor, back to the great VJ sides. Can't get better than that for Chicago Blues. Don't knock at my door. This one is by request and hope you guys enjoy it. This is a great way to get used to using these little doohickeys. Um, the sound and the attack is just so much more powerful than just a pick. So let's try it. Same thing. Just a little more complicated. Or over the four does that. Sorry about that. Here we go. Something really nice like that. And then you can hear it fading out. Um, if you're really insane, you can even add the uh, reverb pedal right at the end there in that last fade out. But uh, that's pretty much how it went, and now I'm going to break it down. You can He has these licks, you know. You can just work out your own way as far as which is up, which is down. You could do all downs. That's very Lowell Folson style to do all downs with your thumb. And by the way, a lot of you have probably noticed this is very similar to Guitar Shuffle by Lowell Folson from 1950. Um just a different groove the the Lowell Folson's real swinging and this is just driving you know with Jimmy Lee Robinson on the bass on the guitar that's acting like a bass all right I'm gonna try to break it down a little bit so if you're going mostly down with some ups you can get fast that way I went all down until the up at the top There's no, you know, just keep working with it. Um, I like when he does the chords, it's like. That's what I call the last night chord. In this case, the root is the 10th fret on the B string. Then you got 12 and 12 with your pinky and third finger on the E and G strings. And then your second finger is on the D string, 11th fret.
and that's something that happens again and again. This, it's usually just two strings, seven on the B string, eight on the E string. But you might see the, late, there's that one 12 bar go around where it goes, it sounds like seven, six, seven, six, the diminished chord um, starting off on the seventh fret of the D string. So, and then I just jump back to an A chord. You could jump back to an A6, but I'm hearing this more. Sounds great, up or down. Here's up, here's down. I think up is a little better. And then from there, you just get rid of the B string, and then you're on a five. That's six, seven, and seven on the D, G, and E strings. I hardly ever hear him do that, but it is so cool. It's just your typical old D chord moved all the way up where your third finger's on the 10th fret of the B string, playing the A note, right? This is And then I even hear this, da, da, da. it's cool. I just move back one fret. And then chord this in honky tonk. So. Notice how it swings. It just swings a little more than if you had a pick. I don't have a pick handy, so. That swings, but when you have this up and down motion, it can actually, you can actually swing it in a different way, in a cool way, you know. And that's, here's the famous lick that's from a Guitar Shuffle, one of them, the little Folsom. Sounds like he might have even had a wild G string, huh? This one goes really well too. It's like he's just playing a seventh chord. Lowell Folsom was more like this. He played it more pretty. This is more just biting. You know, like, get out of my way, instead of... That's more the Lowell Folson is more almost lyrical. So, uh, gee, that's a lot of what's going on here. So each, I wrote out each, I made little notes about each 12 bar things. The first one just lays things out, and the second one's a little more complicated than I made a note for guitar shuffle, I made a note for a seventh chord for this. I called it the last night chord. And then the D chord, D shape chord. So there's so many good licks in this. Uh, here's the, probably the main one is what he does on the uh, five and four. So he slides up to the two, the B note, seventh fret E string. And it sits, fits perfect over here. And then we're on the D, right? So right out of your D is seventh fret. That's part of a D chord, right? So part of an E chord. But you gotta slide it and make it groove. And then duck a duck a duck a duck to make it swing, and he doesn't like he does that almost throughout the whole song, you know. That's sort of what ties it all together. It's a thread. So anyway, good luck with this um, great tune for getting used to this. You can still play it with a pick. It won't be the end of the world, but really, I think you'd be happy if you tried. Good luck with this lick. You could use this anywhere, you know. Fits in something slow, 
And uh, you'll see it all the time in Lowell Folson, and uh, it just goes to show what an OG um, electric lead player Lowell Folsom was to be influ so influential in Chicago. Um, not exactly his home turf, but uh, I love the, the driving, no-nonsense, biting groove that Eddie Taylor and uh, Jimmy Lee Robinson have on this. And we'll come back to Jimmy Lee for sure next time, So, or pretty soon. So thanks for watching this. You have some Eddie Taylor memories, Jimmy Lee Robinson memories, um, anything about this song, um, about seeing any of these guys, uh, do let me know. Stay in touch. Join me on Patreon. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time. Thanks a lot.